Start by doing a Google search for Starfleet badge. Then just print out one of the results to use as a pattern. Then get yourself some silver material. I found this at Joanne Fabrics. When you flip it over, there's the plain side. And so you'll just put your badge template on the plain side. And you want to make sure that you have it facing the wrong way so that the thicker side is on the right. Because when you flip it over, then the thicker side will be on the left. And so then just cut your badge out of the silver material. So then you'll just run a thin line with a black sharpie all the way around the edge of your badge. And then depending on what character you're going as, you'll just draw in the center design. And so then here are the three different types of badges. These are generally worn by the gold shirts, these are generally worn by the blue shirts, and these are generally worn by anybody in a red shirt. Um, there was also a fourth badge that was used by the medical personnel, but usually only the nurses because Bones always wore the science one. And then if you're completely insane like me, you can embroider over all of the black marker with black thread. I tried doing this on my sewing machine, but the needle on the machine ended up ripping the silver material apart, so I had to do it by hand. And it just gives them a bit more texture. Start by getting yourself a turtleneck in the color of your chosen character. Then you're going to cut off the turtleneck part. Make sure you cut it so that you leave the seam line, otherwise the neck will stretch out. So just cut it above the seam line all the way around. Then fold it in half to find the center point of the front. Cut that down about an inch. If there's any tags on your shirt, cut those off too. Next, take a hot glue gun and run a line of glue along the collar. Then just fold it down and make sure the seam line is all the way down so you can't see it on the outside. Do that all the way around the collar of the shirt. When you get to the last part, fold the collar all the way down the inch cut that you made. That will leave a v-neck on the shirt. Next, slide a piece of cardboard into the shirt where you're going to be gluing the patch. Put some hot glue on the back of your patch. And then just press it into place. Then finish gluing the rest of it all the way down. Next, get yourself some gold trim. I found this at Joanne Fabrics. Put a little bit of hot glue on the back side of it. And then just glue it onto the sleeve. Glue it right over the seam line to hide the seam. Then you'll just keep going all the way around the sleeve, gluing the gold trim right over the seam. When you get to the end, just clip off the excess edge and glue down the last piece. Then depending on which character you're going as, you may have to add additional trim. In this tutorial, I'm doing Scotty's shirt, so I'm going to be adding a dotted line above the solid line. Um, each character has a slightly different set of gold bars, so just Google whichever character you're going as and check the shirt sleeves in the picture to see what design you need to do. 
For example, Spock has two solid lines, Captain Kirk has two solid lines and a dotted line in the middle, um, Lieutenant Uhura just has a single line. Um, in this case, as we're doing Scotty again, we're going to be adding the dotted line above the solid line. So you just hot glue those on one at a time. And just leave a little bit of space in between each of the pieces. And then just make the dotted line all the way around. And so now we'll go back to the collar. So get yourself a black turtleneck and just roll down the turtleneck part and stick inside your Starfleet shirt. And so here we have Scotty, Captain Kirk, and Spock with the finished shirts. So then add a pair of rolled up black pants and some black boots and you have a complete costume. Mr. Scott, beam me aboard.